good afternoon so today we will be discussing about speed over ground and speed over water so before i go ahead with the discussion i'll give you three four situations so let us take our ship's position at 11 o'clock here and having a 12 knots current uh, 12 knot engine speed and zero current or wind then your engine speed is 12 so this is basically your log speed and since the external affecting factors are nil your speed over ground as well as your speed over water will be 12 again in another situation same there is a favorable current of two knots maybe it is a combination of current and wind again your engine speed is constant at 12 knots since you are having a favorable effect of two knots you will ha be having a speed over ground remember speed over ground is the gps speed of 14 knots and speed over water will remain 12 knots because this is engine speed i will come to this as we go along again in a third situation remember your engine speed is 12 knots and you are having an adverse effect of 2 knots so we come to the table you will see the speed over ground will be 10 knots and speed over water will be 12 knots now how to find it is speed over ground we will be seeing it on your gps and speed over water you will be able to read it out from your doppler log and one more situation when your vessel is at anchor the speed that is being showed on your log is basically the rate of your current there will be a slight speed shown maybe 0.1 or 0.2 or till 0.3 on your uh, gps that is just your ship drifting to either sides so that is just the rate of uh, turning but your current will be shown on the log now what is basically speed over ground and speed over water now speed over ground is the distance traveled in one hour with respect to the ground the wind current tidal streams are affecting factors and this is shown on your gps so in a situation you can take your ship floating on water so the gps satellites will be referring your ship's position with respect to the ground so any moment they will give you the distance traveled and the distance traveled by time will give you the speed over ground now speed over water is your log speed so the effect this log speed is practically your engine speed there might be a slight error but it is practically your engine speed and the engine speed is basically propeller distance by time for propeller distance how to calculate it is it's the total revolutions of your propeller multiplied by a constant and how to get the constant is the constant will be provided by the manufacturer and it is going to be proportional to the pitch of your ship's propeller so how can the log speed vary the log speed can vary if there is any hull impurities maybe you will be having barnacle growth or something then the uh, log speed will vary again if the log is having an error then also the log speed will vary else it will be showing you the speed of your engine now i'll show you three four circumstances on my ship's gps and log so i uh, will get a better understanding of what i mean by this chart this chart i will show you in practical with respect to my ship's log and gps so let us go to the video this is the log speed reading you can see the engine speed is 12 decimal 4 so in this is the first situation now you can see the gps speed is 12 decimal 4 it's the same that means there is no current or any external affecting factors you can see both readings are the same now we go to the second situation you can see the log speed is 12 decimal 3 that means the engine speed is 12 decimal 3 and 
since we are having a favorable current you can see the gps speed speed over ground is 13 decimal 5 that means you are having a favorable current or wind of 1.2 knots now we go to the third situation you can see the engine speed is 12 decimal 2 as per the log and the gps speed will be having a uh, adverse effect of wind or current so it is 11 decimal 3 that means around 0.9 knots the speed is reduced so we will go to the fourth situation now the vessel is at anchor but the log speed is showing 1 decimal 9 that means the current speed is 1 decimal 9 and let us check the gps the gps speed is 0 decimal 0 that is the speed over ground because we are at anchor the speed over ground is 0 i believe you got a good understanding of speed over water and speed over ground thank you